Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending August the 5th, 2022. We have just about two hours and five minutes left in the trading day today. Started off really ugly because of a whopper of a jobs report that came in. So the expectations were uh, and the, the projections were 228,000 new jobs. And that would have uh, that would have satisfied everybody that okay things are cooling off and inflation's under control maybe the Fed will back off instead what happens this economy is booming and they came in with five hundred and twenty eight thousand jobs so you know over over twice uh, roughly uh, the amount that was expected so started off real low and then stocks uh, equities clawed back as they digested things we were going through. We're in a sideways things for the last now today, two, three, four, five, six days. So uh, since last week, uh, kind of going sideways and we've been range bound. And the problem is, is that we're at the top of that range right now. So gives us a couple of opportunities. All right. Uh, to get to really to break out and start the new bull, we need at least to get up above uh, 4180 roughly in that area to make a solid technical argument for that movement would be above about 4336 somewhere around there 4340 uh if you could get around there all the way up to 4700 that that would be a, a nice new range but at least it would break out and and, and people would uh, technically start calling it a new bull uh, rally as opposed to a bear market rally okay so that's the way that things are sitting right now we're starting to get indicators turning on. So you're getting back in slowly into these markets. So this is why you need advice here because uh, over the weekend, I'm just feeling this out right now. So the Fed is gonna stay hawkish. We'll see what uh, the indicators pop up in our analysis of the weekend after the close of today's trade. Uh, but likely we're going to uh, take a little bit off, uh, off the table in certain areas and, um, and and readjust going into this um, this kind of no man's land uh, as, as it were uh, while we're in until until these data is straightened out. Okay, so that's what we have on the market now. In the, in the midst of all this booming economy, the uh, powers that be in Washington, the Senate is going to pass this uh, new Inflation Reduction Act (IRA). I, I, that's great how they come up with these names, but anyway. Uh, and the deal is, is that, is that there are arguments that made. I saw David Walker, and you know, if you've been to any of my classes, we we speak a little bit about David Walker, who was uh, uh, the um, uh, chief uh, chief CPA, essentially, is what you call it. They call it the Controller General of the United States. But that was back in 2008. Uh, he was at the end of the Clinton administration, and his term ran into the Bush administration. Then he quit. All right. But the thing is that he's a classical economist and he's arguing that, look, you're actually going to feed inflation with this legislation. You're also going to uh, raise taxes at a bad time, uh, which is likely to be injurious to the economy and throw it into recession. Um, the theory probably behind the current legislation is that it's the modern monetary theory. Uh, so it's not the classicist that is uh, David Walker and that mindset of, of you got to fix the deficit and do this, that, and the other thing, but and, and leave inflation to the Fed, uh, who has very blunt tools, frankly, uh, to deal with inflation. But uh, the modern monetary theorist, and this is what has been really governing the country, whether you want to accept it or not, for the last 40 years or more, okay? And that is that they will continue to stimulate the economy until inflation gets high. What's, where are we at right now? You've got full, as full of as an employment as what we've had since probably 1960s, okay? Certainly 40 years, uh, okay? Certainly over 40 years now, uh, so back into the, uh, into the 80s. So you've got 3.5% national uh, unemployment rate. So that's, that's about close to full employment. Um, the Fed is going to continue to be aggressive, but you still have inflation, okay? So even as aggressive as they've been, they still haven't teamed inflation. So uh, to the extent that this bill raises any taxes, and this is what, again, what we have taught in, in, in our, our classes, okay, over the last several years, this is, this is the MMT uh, at work. To, to, it's, a small, it's a small amount, okay, uh, comparatively. But to the extent that they're leaving 
uh, the long-term capital gains thing in place or, and converting that into ordinary income. That was the play. All right, so that would have been a tax increase uh, that, that, that didn't end up, I don't think that's going to end up becoming the law. It's going to remain for private uh, equity investors that get interest care for it. Carry forward, that's going to be taxed at long-term capital gain rates, which are preferable, okay, rates, uh, preferable as to ordinary income tax rates. Anyway, the MMT theory is by doing this, that's how you take money out of the system. That's how you tame inflation is by increasing tax rates. So that's an entire segment. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour for me to teach that segment. Come to our next class uh, when, when you get a chance. If you haven't ever seen this, and to the extent that you have and would like another one, give me some feedback and maybe we'll just do a webinar on it and do a QA and a uh, with it so that everybody's up to speed on what this is and then how, more importantly, how to solve it, the solutions to fix this so that you don't spend the rest of your life in this tax trap by what those people in Washington, D.C. do. All right, that's going to have to be a wrap for this week. I'm out of time. Next week, we'll talk about longevity risk and long-term care uh, risk. I want to tell you what's been going on uh, in my life as an anecdotal supplement to all the statistical evidence that we always share with you. Okay, hey, we're coming back together with The Office come Monday. I bet you we're almost normalized again, so I'm happy. Therefore, I want all you guys to stay happy until next time.